wow, isn't nature beautiful? And there are ways we can show its beauty even more clearly in future television systems. We can use 3D TV, we can use more resolution or more pictures a second. But we can also improve the way colors are seen. And to understand how this is done, we first of all need to take a close look at a TV screen. Colors on a TV screen are actually a great deception. There are really only three colors there, though our mind thinks we see a full range of colors. The screen is actually a mosaic of three kinds of very small dots. Some light up red, some green and some blue. There are millions of them on the screen and they're so small and so close together that we can't separate them in our mind's eye. To see how the process works of creating any colour from just three, we use a map. It's called a colour triangle. The corners of the triangle correspond to the three kinds of coloured dots built into the display, red, green and blue. Now, if none of the dots in an area are lit up, we see a picture part that is black. If the TV lights up only the red dots in an area, we see red on the screen, and the same goes for green and blue dots. And now the trick comes in. If both the green and the red dots are lit up, we see a colour in between. We see the mixture of the two, yellow. And if the green and the blue dots are lit up, we see a colour called cyan. And if we add red and blue, we get purple. And in this way, we can get any color we like by adding up mixtures of the red, green and blue dots. Now, let me join up these dots so you can see that it's really a triangle. Now, if we show at the same time red, green and blue dots, what we get is right here in the middle, it's the colour white. And the closer the colour gets to this white, the paler it becomes, and the closer it gets to this outside line, the deeper it comes. This is the fantastic process, which is the way television colours work. Now, if we add to this diagram the colours that occur naturally in nature, in flowers or rainbows, we get another line, it's this one. It's bigger than the triangle, it's actually a curve quite outside the triangle, like this. So the objective of a future colour television system should be to move these colour primaries closer to this range of the colours that we find in nature. When we started colour television, it may be that the colours were approximately here. In the future, with ultra-high definition television, we'll be using wider colour primaries. Red, green, and blue. So you'll see that it's going to be possible to show more saturated colours than we find today on television. And this is the way that the quality will be improved, by allowing television pictures to show more saturated colours which are closer to natural colours. Oh, by the way, don't mix up the way colours add on a television screen with the way they add in a paint box. It's quite a different process. In fact, if you add the colours together on a television screen, the result is white. But if you add all the colours together in a paint box, the result is black. <laughs>